Today I am so excited to bring you four ideas to turn a Disney movie night watching onward into a fabulous family bonding time. I have a couple games, an art craft, and even a fun journaling idea. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first one is recreating one of the scenes near the end as they are racing the van and they've got to figure out how are they going to block everybody from getting to them out in the mountainside. So we're recreating that where you have to get the van to hit the boulder so that it will fall down and block the police officers from coming. The easy way to do that if you already have a Hot Wheels strap, just get a couple toilet paper rolls that are empty, set them on top of each other. If you want to make it more difficult, just do one. If you want to make it easier, choose a couple so that their cars have various places to go. And then you're going to try and just launch your car get it to go flying and knock off one of those boulders. If you want to make it extra difficult, you could say that the road, for instance, goes here and it has to land on this side in order for it to count. Make it as hard or as easy as you want, but that is our van flying boulder dropping game. Everyone's going to love it as everything goes flying everywhere. And I almost forgot, if you don't have a Hot Wheels track, you can just use a bouncy ball or a ping pong ball, whatever ball you have and the top of a box, put a little something underneath it like an apple, and then you can use that as a ramp to then launch your bouncy ball to try and be able to knock off your boulders from the mountainside. Our second game is one that we came up with called Mismatched Socks. Normally when you play memory, you want to find two items that look exactly the same, but in celebration of the father here who loved his mismatched socks, what you want to do is find two socks that have absolutely nothing in common. We have several patterns and multiple colors, and in this case there's a cloud pattern and a stripe pattern. They're different, and then this one has purple and orange and white, whereas this one has yellow and blue and green. So once you find any type of a sock that does not match, that is when you get to take the pair and keep trying to go again. What I love about this game is that it really challenges your memory, so you not only have to remember where is one color, but you've got to remember three colors and a sock pattern. Great way to do it, a fun brain booster for the family with a fun twist on memories. So I will put a link down below where you can download that, print it at home, and then you just easily cut the paper into the little cards and you are ready to play our mismatched socks game. Before we go to the next item, did you know that we post daily activities on our website familyfed.com where the F-E-D stands for fun every day that helps keep your family fed with fun and laughter and memories. We also have a newsletter, go sign up for that, I'll put a link in the description as well. You don't want to miss out because every week we'll send you ideas of what we're doing and in case you missed anything the last week, what we did, so that you never miss an evening spending quality family time with your family. Hope you enjoy it. Now on to the next one. The next item is a fun journaling prompt to spark discussion in your family. Now if you know me, you know that I love capturing family stories. I think it's so important to be able to have those that family members can look back on. And in this case, we're having us record our own stories as well. Now, in the movie, they had the opportunity to go back and ask their father a few questions. And that's what these journaling prompts celebrate. If you could ask anybody, whether they're living or dead, three questions, who would you ask and what would you ask them? You can write that on the paper, which this is a download. I'll put a link to that as well, um, so you can see that. But you just say, what three questions would you ask? And then take time to answer them yourself so that people in the future don't have to wonder what your answer would be, just like you're wondering what the answer would be for the other person. Person. Great things to be able to share with your family and a quick little discussion that only takes a few minutes but captures a fun aspect of each member of your family. And finally, activity number four is an arts and craft project and in this one we'll be recreating wizard staffs just like they had in the movie and complete with a phoenix gem on the top. In order to create this beauty, you're going to want to get a skewer stick. If it has a sharp end, just go ahead and clip that off so that nobody gets hurt. Then you're going to get your glue gun, put a little bit of glue on the edge of it. Grab your Phoenix gem, we like to use a marble, and then just hold it in place. And it doesn't take too long, it'll sit on there really nicely. And then, ta-da, you have that as the base of your stick. Then you're going to want to just start wrapping it around and putting additional um, glue gun around it. I like to put it just kind of in a spiral shape. It reminds me of the one that they use in the movie itself. Once you get to the top of it, what I like to do is to create three little extra lines in it to recreate the top of the wizard staff that they actually use the movie. And then all you need to do is get some paint. I use gold, you can use brown, whatever color you want. And then just a little foam brush and you're going to just complete the look, decorating it with the color you want. When you have the very top of it where the glue gun material where the glue from the glue gun actually goes across the marble. Just use the very tip of it, it's not too hard, and if any does happen to stick to the marble, it's really easy to scrape it off with your fingernail at the end. 
So those are our four fun activities to turn a Disney's Onward movie night into a fun family celebration with items you have around your house or that are super easy to download from our website, familyfed.com. Be sure to check out additional Disney movie parties that we have over at the website. I'll put a link to those down below as well. We hope that you continue to join us by subscribing for more ideas in the future. Also be sure to sign up for our newsletter over at familyfed.com so you're always informed each week of the fun activities that we do. Be sure to give us a thumbs up as well and go ahead and comment what your favorite Disney movie is. We might just do something about it in the future for one of our future Disney movie night parties. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Happy playing. Bye-bye.